Darren Steen here from FatLossLifestyle.com. Coming at you today, talking to you about the value of working out and training your back. A lot of people, there's four specific reasons. I'm going to give you tonight that's going to make sense. Why you want to work your back. I'm going to show you how to work your back effectively. And I can tell you, I'm coming from experience. When I started to transition out of my football career in 1988 uh, and lose the football belly, 40-inch waist, I looked at the bodybuilders, they had ripped abs, they had sex appeal, I was single and I wanted that. And I had no idea how to do it. My back, and I did my first contest, bodybuilding contest in 1988. My back was so weak, as uh, physically weak and aesthetically on my, on my build. And I've become known as one of the top truly drug-free professional bodybuilders in the world that has one of the better backs out there. And what does... What does having a back do for you? Well, I'm here to tell you that I've learned. I'm going to tell you four reasons why you want to train your back and why it's going to benefit you, even though you don't compete on stage. You are competing in life. And that is that I've learned how to build up my back from having a very weak, aesthetically and physically weak back to one of the stronger aesthetically backs in the world. Some of my physique art pictures are some of the most well-known physique art pictures in the world with landscapes like uh, uh, St. Louis Arch, Times Square. You guys have probably seen them on the internet. It's right up there with one uh, Kiyoshi Mui and a few of the world's best truly drug-free bodybuilders, and I'm proud of that because it's a physique art. It's not about me. It's about anybody can have their best body by using these techniques. All right, so I'm going to tell you the four reasons why you've got to work back if you want to be time efficient with your muscle gain, body fat burning program. The first one is fat burning. It's way better fat burning punch uh, for you can spend less time working out and you're going to be able to burn more body fat off. Number two is for posture reasons. Everyone slumped forward, shoulders rounded forward. They had a computer desk, they're driving, they're slumped forward. Even uh, guys, they do chest too much and their chest is tight and it rounds everything forward. That's not good long term. You want to open that chest up and have those back muscles be tight and shoulder blades low together and you want to be able to walk around with good posture without having to force it all day long. So physically, number two is posture. Physically, your posture is better. And when your posture is better and you walk around like that, mentally you put out an energy that people are drawn to. So there's a big difference between walk, you don't have to walk like a peacock, but chest open, real good posture, people are drawn to that energy versus this. There's a big difference. So there's two things with posture, physically and uh, mentally, mostly and energy wise. Number three, is everybody wants ripped abs, they want a smaller waist. Well, what's the easiest way to make your waist smaller? It's to make your back wider. Get that V taper look. Everybody wants that V taper look. You can make your back an inch to two inches wider on each side, that's gonna make your waist look that much smaller. And number four is it's gonna boost your anabolic hormones. I'm telling you what, back routines, once you get good at them, you can get the weight to where it's, the body perceives it as super intense, it's a life or death situation, and that is how you boost your growth hormone, your testosterone, how you get your endorphins going. It's, it's right to the edge of as physical as you can get. It's short duration, one to two minutes, and it's physical. That is how you boost your growth hormone, your testosterone, and your adrenaline, and all that stuff that makes you alive. Now, you don't want to do it all the time. You can only train back once to one and a half times a week, and I'll talk about that in a second. But don't shoot testosterone in your system from an outside source or growth hormone. Working out heavy with back and leg exercises is absolutely one of the top ways to boost your anabolic hormones so you can build more muscle and you can feel alive with real energy. So those are the four things. Fat burning, most bang for your buck, your posture, smaller waistline, be taper, and boosting your anabolic hormones. So now I'm gonna talk about the back routine. You want to go slow and controlled. If you follow me very long, you know it's a slow controlled movement in general, not always, but in general. Uh, three, one, three, one. Three, two, one, pause. Hold it for a second. Three, two, one, stretch on the neck. All right, you want to do, you got two different types of movements with back. You got rows, seated row, standing row. Anytime the hands are coming into the navel, that's called a row. There's several types of rows. I'm going to show you a couple tonight. So you got rows, and then you got pulled downs where you're coming here and you're pulling down, whether it's a, a lat pull down or chin ups or a close grip pull down. You want to alternate. You want to do a row movement and then you want to do a pull down movement. You can even, and then 
do two or three sets. You might even want to do a row, first set of row, first set of pull down, second set of row, second set of pull down, alternate back and forth because then it's fresh, it's new, it's not redone, it's not the same thing. Two or three sets per exercise, nice, slow, and controlled. Three, three exercises, maybe four, and you're done. So here's a standing barbell row. I'm going to put this camera down so you can see me a little bit better. Okay. And another thing is with pull downs and rows, the wider grip doesn't make your back wider. Actually, narrower makes your grip. You, you don't, there's a point of no return on chin up pull downs and lat pull downs and chin ups. You don't want to go really any wider than this. This puts your shoulder, your rotator cuff compromised and takes pressure into the rotator cuff out of the lat. So Dorian Yates, went, even though he took steroids, admittedly, he had the biggest back in the world. He always was a big advocate on pull downs going narrower and rows going narrower makes your back wider. And it makes sense. My rotator cuff's been feeling better. My back's getting wider using those techniques. So on barbell row, my grip is about shoulder width apart, not out in here. Protect that lower back. It's about as low as you want to go. The bar about an inch below the knee, maybe. Look up, pull it right through the belly button. Three, two, one, pause. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, pause. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, pause. <clears throat> now make sure you don't round that lower back up. You don't want to pull it up like this. You got hips forward, tighten up that lower back like this. <clears throat> don't round out that lower back like that. So that's a straight bar standing barbell rope. You want to do one set of that, and then next you want to do one set of a pull down or a lat pull down. So I would, I would grab a, you know, I would do chin ups because that's my favorite exercise. And you come here, two, one, and get a stretch. Open the chest up and drive, two, and one. It's okay to round forward on the negative to get a stretch on your pull down. So you pull your belly back, drive your belly out, open up that chest, two, one. So I just simulated a pull down or a chin up. So we did a barbell row, then we did a pull down. I would do a second set of barbell row, and then a second set of pull down. Adding a little bit of weight on the second set, and then maybe doing a third set with just a little bit more weight. First set, failing around 12 reps, getting the last three reps you never thought you could get. Second set, a little heavier, failing around 10 reps. Third set, a little bit more weight, failing around eight reps, staying safe and trying to get those last two or three reps that you never thought you could get. That's the Fat Loss Lifestyle Program. You probably know about it. Um, it's unique. It's the strategy the natural bodybuilders use. All right, I'm going to give you two more exercises, one more different row, and one more different pull down. Uh, you can use dumbbells for rows. So the first one was a bar, a straight barbell row. Same technique. <clears throat> two, one. You can round out the shoulders forward and get a stretch on the bottom, but when you drive up, you want to Push the belly forward, open the chest up, and drop two, and one, and two, and one. So that's a dumbbell row, that's two at the same time, or you got a lawnmower row where it's one at a time. Two, and one. Here's a uh, problem I see a lot of people make is they don't turn the palm to the rear at the bottom to get a nice stretch. Palm into the body on the squeeze at the top, palm to the rear, get a nice stretch at the bottom and pause for one second. Three, two, one, pause. Three, two, one. Try to feel like this left hand, if it's on a bench or something, that you're punching with the left and pulling with the right. It's like a martial artist, you punch with the left, pull with the right. So there's actually three row movements. First one was a start straight barbell, the second one was a two dumbbell row, and the third one was a one, uh, one arm dumbbell lawnmower row. And then for pull down, you know, you get a close grip. A close grip handle on a pull down, and stay right in here versus a, a lat pull down here. So get a close grip handle, two, and one. Nice stretch. Start them up, two, one, Ooh. and two, and one. So there you go. There's just two, two movements of each. You go back and forth. Uh, deadlifts, probably the number one exercise on the face of the earth at boosting anabolic hormones, but you gotta be a little bit advanced. You gotta start light. Uh, YouTube search Derenstein deadlifts. Uh, that's a whole nother video that I'd like to shoot for you. If you want to hear more about it, deadlifts, uh, comment below. I want to do a summary. The four reasons why you need to uh, train your back so that your fat loss muscle building program will go more time efficient is for better fat burning, 
because for every pound of muscle, it, your back is your biggest muscle group that you have. It, it dwarfs everything else. It's even more muscle mass than the legs are very close to it. So every pound of muscle that you gain in the future that you don't have now, your body burns 50 to 70 calories a day more just that sitting there. So for simplicity's sake, you could gain 10 pounds of muscle in the future that you don't have now. That's the most, uh, that's the most valuable thing at aging gracefully and living strong and long is more muscle mass. People in their 50s, 60s, and 70s know about it very well. Bone density, all that stuff. So if you gain 10 pounds of muscle by doing this program in the future, your body's gonna burn, do the math, 500 to 700 calories more a day, just that muscle sitting there. Move it and exercise with it, it's probably 1,000 to 1,200. Who wouldn't want to work out for an hour a week, build up their back muscle, and gain 10 pounds of muscle over a 12 to 15 week period, and burn 1,000 to 1,200 calories more a day? It's insane, you wanna talk about ripped abs, that's how you get ripped abs. You build muscle in your back and your legs, eat better, we can talk about that later, goal set, and then voila, the fat rips off your belly because your body's burning more calories with your basal metabolic rate, BMR, and your back's wider, it's a double win. So the first one is fat, better fat burning that I just explained. Number two is posture. Physically, better posture, which is good for less injury, you have your body to be balanced, but mentally and emotionally and energy-wise, people are drawn to that posture. All the time people ask me if I'm a, if I'm a jarhead, if I'm a, a, a sergeant in the army, because, and I never have. I just keep my hair short and I have good posture, and they, they think that it's, uh, you know what, it's an authoritative position, and when you come from a loving way, it's very valuable. Number three is a smaller waist. Easiest way to make that waist smaller is make that back wider, all right? Number four, we talked about it, it's the best way to naturally boost your anabolic hormones, growth hormone, testosterone, Get those endorphins going. It's a life or death situation. The body perceives it as that. And man, when you body can take on a life or death situation with deadlifts and intense back, it says, man, everything else is easier. Plus, you have those youth hormones that are raising naturally the best way to raise them. So there you go. I, I know it was a little bit long, but I know it was very valuable. Please pass this video along to people who you know and you love that are spinning their wheels in the gym or not working out because they don't have a time efficient program. Build a better back. Build a better body, build a better lifestyle, build a better life. You know, that's one of my models. You do have the power to change. Comment below, tell me how you like it, thumbs up. Please share this video. If anybody shares this video, send me an email at darren at fatlosslifestyle.com, D-A-R-I-N at fatlosslifestyle.com, and I got a present for you, all right? Spread the love. If you didn't like it, thumbs down, tell me what you do want, and I'll try to accommodate you. Give me the questions below. Make the rest of your life the best of your life.